I've had more than a few people ask, Quinn, why the heck does my Mac have so much other space that's taken up? I hardly have any disk space left. Well, today I'm going to show you some lesser known tricks to free up the disk space on your Mac. Let's take a look. Step one, this one's kind of silly and the other ones are far more advanced, but a lot of people either don't know or they forget this step. But when you move a file to the trash bin, it isn't actually deleted. Think of the trash bin as a temporary receptacle of things that need to be deleted. So to delete items permanently, go to the menu bar, hit finder, and then click empty trash. This will tell the disk that the space is available to be rewritten. Step two, photos take up ginormous amounts of space on your computer. Now the great thing about the new Photos app for Mac is that it allows you to automatically add all the photos that you take from your iPhone, your iPad, and elsewhere. But this is also a problem for your poor Mac's hard drive. Stupidly enough, Apple doesn't allow local file deletion at this time, but there are a few ways to make sure that your storage is optimized. If you enter the Photos app Preferences, navigate to the iCloud tab. There are a few options here and the one we want most is Optimize Mac Storage. This will store lower res files on your Mac and only call for the high res files and subsequently download them from Apple servers when you want to view the photos in more detail. Lastly, disabling My Photo Stream will keep new photos in the cloud but won't download them to your computer until you specifically ask it to do so. Step three, part of deleting large files is finding them. Now oftentimes you don't know what files are taking up so much space, so that's where Omni Disk Sweeper comes in. Mac OS is especially sensitive to deleting files that should not be deleted, so I strongly recommend that you back up your computer with Time Machine or another backup suite before continuing. You'll need to download Omni Disk Sweeper, which is in the video description below, and you'll need to install the app by dragging it to your applications folder. Now, once the app is installed, we're not going to actually open it. But why? Because using the app's built-in search tool limits the search to your home folder. We want to go deeper to find system files that are taking up all that space. So what we need to do is open Terminal. Open Terminal by searching in Spotlight. You're going to need to paste some text into this window, which I have included in the video description below. The command will likely ask you to enter your computer's administrative password, so go ahead and do so. We've now given OmniDisk Sweeper root access to our entire drive, and OmniDisk Sweeper should open automatically. Don't close the terminal. Select your boot volume on OmniDisk Sweeper, it's likely named Macintosh HD, and click Sweep. Now this process can take several hours, though it usually takes less than 10 minutes if you're running on an SSD-based Mac. Once the scan is complete, you can start deleting, but careful. Don't delete anything from the system or library folders unless you are 100% sure what that file is. That said, if the system, library, or private folders are more than a few gigabytes large, like more than seven, you should poke around to see what folder or file is taking up so much space. But don't delete it until you are sure that it can be removed. We're now going to poke into the Users and Applications folder where most of the space is being taken up. Pictures has already been touched on, so take our previous suggestions. Now what you need to do is click the Music folder, then iTunes, then iTunes Media, then Mobile Applications, and whoa, we have dozens of gigabytes of old apps. Now you can delete these from your computer. They take up a ton of space, and since most of your iOS devices back up to iCloud, there's literally no reason why you should have these IPA files. None. Delete all of them. If you need to re-download them in the future, you can. Trash should be emptied like we previously mentioned, so get rid of that. Now enter library, application support, and you're likely to see that mobile sync is taking up a lot of space. These are all your old iPhone backups that you probably don't need anymore. If you double click the folder icon, it will reveal these files in the finder. You'll then be able to tell when the backup was made and if you can delete it. Since I back up to iCloud, I'm going to wipe all of these out. OmniDisk Sweeper can really help find those trickily large files and delete them if necessary. Step four, files that take up a lot of space that you may have seen by using OmniDisk Sweeper are caches. Now the safest way to remove these files, because there's some that can't be removed, is by using a handy utility called Applejack, not the serial. Though again, I strongly recommend backing up first. Now download and install Applejack from the source in the video description below. Applejack is a little bit different because it runs in single user mode, which you've likely never seen before. First, you need to shut down your Mac if it's powered on. 
Then press the power button, and immediately after pressing the power button, press the command and S keys together. A screen with text should pop up kind of like a Windows boot screen. It's a little weird looking, so don't freak out. Now, once the text stops scrolling, type this directory that we have displayed on screen. It tells single user mode where to find the Applejack script. Once you enter that and press enter, Applejack will launch and ask which directory to repair. Press enter to scan the whole drive. Then press A, followed by the return key. Applejack will go and do its thing cleaning out all extraneous, outdated, and heavy cache files. Once Applejack is done, it will reboot your computer automatically. The only thing left to do is to view corrupted preference files that Applejack didn't delete because it wasn't really sure what to do with them. Open Finder and go to Library slash Preferences. If you find a folder entitled Corrupt, then just delete it. If you don't find that folder, then don't worry about it because Applejack didn't find any corrupted files. So that's really about it. That's four tips that will free up massive amounts of space and actually optimize your Mac, unlike some apps from the App Store that claim to do such, but don't. If you found this video useful, we'd appreciate it if you'd hit that like button. If you thought this video was crap, then I guess a thumbs down will do. If you'd like to support our channel, you can shop through our Amazon affiliate link at snazzyzon.com. You get the same prices and we get a small kickback for sending you there. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay snazzy.